In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to install Uptime Kuma on Proxmox. Before we continue, please hit that like and subscribe button. Now you can see we have two containers already running on uh, my Proxmox. What we're going to do is we're going to be adding a third one by using a Proxmox helper script by going on this website, grabbing one of these and installing it. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super easy. The reason why we install each application on its own container, it's because it's easier to back up when everything is on its own uh, container. Basically make sure you are on the node level. In this case, we are on the PVE level. Now, we're going to go to this website, uh, find the helperscript.com website, and uh, find Uptime Kuma. All right, now that we have found Uptime Kuma, we're going to go ahead and copy this script. By clicking on it, it copies automatically. Go back to your PVE. Make sure you are on the PVE or the node level, and go to Shell and go ahead and uh, paste in that command. This command is going to be running everything from this website here. If you're curious, I would encourage you to right click and go to that website and check out what's the contents for your curiosity. Let's continue by hitting enter. This will create a new uptime coma LXE. Proceed. Yes. Use default settings, in my case, yes. All right, I'm gonna be using my Crucial SSD. Again. And as you can see, it's already creating a container name here and it's going to keep going. We'll give it time. All right, now that it has installed, it gives us a URL to go to. Just note that everything has been done automatically and everything has been installed. And now you have a new container, uh, an LXC container here with the ID 101. And it gives us an IP address. Now, this was set up automatically uh, using DHCP. Um, there is a way to do this manually and uh, set it up as your own IP address and so you don't have to keep this. And actually, even though it's set up already, you'll be able to still go to the LXC network and go to the network here and change things around if you do need to. Um, if you want uh, me to create a video explaining that, let me know. All right, now that everything has been installed, guys, we're going to go to the web interface and we're going to go uh, follow the IP address that was provided for us. Now, in our case, I think it was this one here. So we're going to do that. And the port, I believe, is 3001. And here we go. We're going to set up a username. And a password. And uh, you can choose any password you want for us. We're going to use a simple password for YouTube. And here we go, guys. We're in. Now, for you guys that don't know what Uptime Kuma does, basically, it's a, a monitoring tool that monitors your network or in your case your home lab and it's able to see and uh, look for uptime and monitor for uptime for different things i do believe if we go here uh, there is a bit of an explanation here below and here you go so basically monitoring for uptime uh, http tcp https keyword uh, JSON query, ping, DNS, push, steam, etc. You'll be able to get notification via Telegram. My favorite is Telegram and Discord, but you have other methods you can use. You can see that it supports multiple languages, multiple status pages, 
and things like that. Now that we have uh, set it up, guys, what we'll be able to do is we're going to add a few sites to monitor. And you can see here, we can add the website. Let's call it Google. Let's give it a URL and everything. Let's leave those at default. You can even monitor a certificate experience notification. So that means if you have a website and the certification is about to expire, Uptime Kuma is going to check and send you the notification to tell you to go ahead and renew. Most of my websites, the, the certificate always auto renews, but uh, if you have a self-signed certificate that you have to go renew the certificate manually or something like that, uh, this is a very helpful tool. As we can see here, you can set up notifications. This can be basically any of these services. You can choose alert, alert now. I'm not going to name all of them. As I said, my favorites is in Discord and also uh, Telegram. So, but as you can see, there is so many. Uh, you can choose either one you want. Uh, you can create a bot in Telegram and uh, do all of those uh, good things by going to get the token from the bot father over here. Um, yeah, so that's set up. And now, as you can see, it's monitoring Google for us. And uh, I believe every 60 seconds is going to go get a status. If Google uh, goes down, it's going to alert us. And if you have your notifications set up, you're going to receive uh, either a push notification or an email or something to tell you that uh, your service is down. Now, if we go to settings, you can see all the types of things you can do. Uh, we can go to appearance and set it up as a dark mode or um, light mode. You can see that you have multiple other themes for the for the heartbeat bar. And we can go to notifications. I already told you about that. Um, you can see you can set up your Cloudflare tunnel here. You can add tags. You can monitor history. You can add your Docker hosts and uh, also monitor those. Um, security, change your password, uh, set up two-factor authentication, disable the two-factor authentication, uh, backup. Uh, this is no longer recommended, guys, but uh, I do recommend if you're using Proxmox to check out the Proxmox uh, backup server and uh, that's gonna save your life because you're good you're gonna be able to basically back up of all of your containers and uh, virtual machines um, and you can see here the version that i'm running for you it might be a different version now let's us uh, set up a a service and let's uh, then put that service down and see what happens uh, remember, in our last episode, we did set up that Casa OS. So let's use that. The IP is this one here. And we're going to go to the IP address. And we're going to set up our username. Well, it's already set up. We're basically logging in. Now, this is the IP, and we're going to be monitoring for port 80. So we're going to grab the IP, go up to up, type Kuma, add a new monitor. It's going to be HTTP slash HTTPS. We're going to add the URL. Actually, let's grab the whole thing here. And because this is a test, guys, I'm going to say, let's check every five seconds. This might break the thing, but... Uh, all right, let's save this. Ah, friendly name. This is Casa OS. And ah, we have to be okay. So we have to set at least 20 seconds. All right, save. All right. So as you can see, it's still running Google. And uh, now we do have a graph since it's been a while here. And you can see that uh, some of the um, response times here in uh, milliseconds um don't judge my internet connection guys but everything uh here looks fine it even says when the google certificate is going to expire and in this case it looks like it's going to expire in 68 days now as you can see uh the casa os has started pinging now what we're going to do 
is that we're going to shut that down. Uh, I think we can shut it down through here. And that's going to shut down the Casa OS. And now, if we look at the Casa OS, it's going to tell us if it's still up or down. Just give it a few seconds here. Guys, this is a very good tool for uh, anything that you want to monitor. And the best part about it is that you get a notification in your favorite tool. All right. Now, as you can see, Casa OS just went down. And also remember that if you had notification set up, you would receive a Telegram message or a Discord message telling you that Casa OS has went down. So guys, this has been it for this tool. Uh, thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Please, please subscribe and let's get this channel to at least 1,000 subscribers. Thank you and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.